welcome in, along with Mike Renner, I'm Steve Palazzolo, and this is your Demarcus Lawrence free agent profile, the Dallas Cowboys edge defender after getting franchised last year, potentially hitting the open market here in Lawrence. An interesting career path. Only had about 1,200 snaps to his name the first three years of, of his career. And then 2017, one of the biggest breakouts we've seen in recent years. 79 total pressures, 15 sacks, 12 QB hits, getting after the quarterback. We were wondering, is he just a one-year wonder? And he didn't get up back to that same exact level this past year, but 63 pressures, still one of the best edge defenders, one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. Yeah, they asked him to prove it on the franchise tag after that 2017 season when Five of the highest, his five highest graded games of his entire career came in the 2017 season. So obviously you're going to ask to make him improve it. It was just so far and away different from the rest of his career. But then he comes back in 2018 and he basically proves it. He said he earned an 88.0 overall grade this season after a 91.6. So not on the same level, but still very good. Still one of the, among the elite edge defenders in the NFL and still very consistent. Had three pressures in 14 of the 16 regular season games he played in this season. So consistent edge rusher and talent is hard to come by in the NFL, and he is one of them. Yeah, and my, my question about Lawrence after that one breakout year in 2017, is this going to be similar to, say, Olivier Vernon, who signed that mm -hmm. monster deal with the New York Giants? Vernon had one great year after a bunch of average to you know slightly above average years, and I think he settled in as a good, not great player, which is fine. There's a ton of value in that. So is that where Lawrence ends up settling in? Is this somebody that Dallas needs to keep around because of how productive he's been within their system? So in my opinion, I think he's out a little better than Vernon was. Vernon was almost like an eight-game stretch. Even in that one season, it was just eight games, whereas Lawrence has had flash dominant play. But again, the consistency with Lawrence has been there more so than it was with Vernon over the course of the last two seasons. So if I'm Dallas, I can't let this guy out of the building. He is priority number one for me this offseason. He's so key to what they do defensively because they don't have a ton of other pass rush there up front at the moment. If he walks, you are really struggling because Randy Gregory, Taco Charlton have not been on the level, even close to the level of Demarcus Lawrence at this point. Yeah, so Dallas might be the team that actually needs him the most. Mm -hmm. However, a bunch of other teams with a ton of cash and yes. needs at edge defender. Who else? What other potential teams could kind of swoop in? and give DeMarcus Lawrence that big contract. Yeah, I mean, I only think look at all the teams with the most cap space in the NFL right now. Colts could obviously be a player for basically any defensive free agent at this point with over $115 million in cap space. The Jets, the Browns, Raiders, 49ers, Raiders quite obviously could you know, throw cash at any pass rusher this upcoming season. And it would almost be prescient if they you know, let Khalil Mack walk, get into Marcus Lawrence. Not too much of a consolation prize and get a couple first rounders out of it. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, we get yeah. the extra picks. That would be huge for the Raiders. So we'll see what happens with Demarcus Lawrence, one of the most coveted pass rushers on the open market. He had a prove-it deal in 2018, and he proved that he's still among the best.